Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about how to find your skin type and skin concerns. This is the first video in my skincare 101 series which I'm going to be doing throughout the month of December. Some of my friends pointed out to me that a lot of the time I only really do reviews and while there is a lot of information in the reviews about the skincare products, there are a lot of people that don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> because I don't really go into the basics of skincare and I'm not really explaining what these products are and what they do specifically in easy to understand terms. So just like I made a beginner contact lens wearing video, I'm going to be doing the same thing for skincare as well as makeup. So makeup is going to be on Sundays and then on Saturday throughout December I'm going to be doing a little bit of skincare each week. These videos are designed to be quite short and quite informative, so I'm hoping that I can keep them really short. That's probably the hardest thing for me. So I'm going to start out by talking about my own skin type and my own skin concerns, and then I'm going to be explaining um, through each of the skin types and skin concerns and what those might mean. So for my own skin, my skin type is normal. My skin is neither oily nor dry, but that can change as a skin concern through each season. I have also got acne prone skin, but again, that it is a skin concern rather than a skin type. So your skin types are usually normal, oily, dry, combination, and sensitive. There are other skin types that people can use, but those are the main five. You can also be a combination. So you can have oily and sensitive skin, or you can have dry and sensitive skin. You can have normal sensitive skin, but it is pretty normal to have combination skin. And a lot of people actually do have combination skin where they have an oily T-zone and then dry cheeks. So if my skin isn't actually doing too well, I sort of head towards the combination side because if my skin is feeling down, if it's not doing so well, I will get an oily T-zone and dry cheeks. But generally, if my skincare and my diet and all of the environmental factors are good, then my skin falls under the normal category. It's important to find out your skin type because that treats your skin concern, which is the next part. So skin concerns are generally temporary effects on your skin. So things like aging and fine lines, wrinkles, you have your acne, you have dehydrated skin as well. There's also hyperpigmentation and redness and rosacea. Although things like rosacea may be more of a skin type because these are not a temporary thing. So for my skin type, I have aging skin because I am in my 20s. I am not a child. I am in my 20s, which means that I have some fine lines around my eyes and I have two prominent wrinkles on my forehead, um, which you don't usually see. They're actually not super bad. I'm saying prominent in the sense that they do not go away after I have stopped moving my forehead muscles. I also have acne prone skin. This means that my skin has not always got acne on it, but it is susceptible to getting acne generally through poor diet choices and poor skincare choices. I'm also prone to irritation, which falls under the acne category because it comes in the form of acne or really small bumps. So most of these skin concerns are pretty explanatory. So aging, fine lines and wrinkles just means that your skin is starting to show the signs of age. So fine lines around the eyes, forehead wrinkles, uh, smile lines as well. So you can specifically use skincare to treat those. They're pretty easy to understand, I think. Acne prone skin is also quite easy to understand. If your skin has blemishes and even texture and pimples, just in general, that would be acne and that is something as a skin concern that you can choose to treat to. Although I can speak from experience that it is not always easy to treat acne, it can actually be very, very difficult. Hyperpigmentation, like I showed you on my cheeks, is the scarring left by acne. Some people scar worse than others, and for me specifically, I scar really badly on my cheeks, but not very badly anywhere else. So around my mouth and my chin is pretty fine, and my forehead is really good as well. But my cheeks, whenever I have acne, or specifically cystic acne, which are the pimples that sit underneath your skin, they're very inflamed, they're hot to touch, and they don't usually form a head. Those are cystic acne. They form really, really bad scars for me even though they don't actually get popped <laughs> which is like so annoying <laughs> for redness and rosacea because I do not experience this I can't really help you out on that one so I would definitely find someone who has got redness and rosacea and has treated it so that's not a forte for me and the last one is dehydration and it's a little bit difficult to tell if your skin is dehydrated or if it is oily or dry because it can give you symptoms of both dehydration is generally a skin concern rather than a skin type because it can be treated so dehydrated skin can feel very dry, it can feel very tight, but it can also have a lot of oil. Your skin is lacking water, so it's actually using more oil production to compensate for that. However, the oil in your skin doesn't really help because your skin is needing water. 
water. The easiest way to treat dehydration in skincare is to up the water content that you're actually consuming and use more moisturizers and serums that help with hydration specifically. So that is pretty much the quick overview of skin types and skin concerns. Next week we'll be talking about cleansing your skin and removing makeup and all of the basics for that as well. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Please bear in mind that although I have been talking about skincare for about six years, I am not a dermatologist and I am not a qualified cosmetologist. Yes. So I'm not actually qualified, but I am just giving you my opinion on experience. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.